Hello, you! Welcome back to my channel. And kakatapos ko lang ng aking almost walang kwentang makeup video tutorial and slash makeup haul. And today, I'm going to give you tips on how and which documents to include if you want to apply for a work visa in New Zealand based on your partnership. Uh, disclaimer, this is just a reference on how we prepared our documents and also these are based on my research. This video will cover tips on writing your relationship timeline, examples of documents that you can include, as evidence of genuine and stable relationship, financial interdependence, evidence of contact, and important points to include when making the support letters from your family and friends, and also um, the sponsor or the supporting partner's documents. So first is the relationship timeline. I found it awkward when I was writing our relationship timeline because for me, it's kind of difficult to talk about feelings. But then, it's very important Now your letter is genuine and heartfelt. And you need to communicate that feeling sa taong nagbabasa ng application nyo. It's vital to cover the key aspects of your relationship, including your household, finances, and social aspect. To make it easier and organized, you can make a legit timeline of significant events that happened in your life. Like, just gather everything that you can think of and then i-arrange nyo la and i-arrange na lang chronologically. Some of the information you can include are when and how you first met, when you started dating, and officially classified yourself as in a relationship. Third, how you develop into having a relationship. Guess, ang gulo ko doon. Pero, paano kayo napunta doon? When you met uh, each other's families and friends, whether other people recognize your relationship, activities you did together, or what you felt you had in common, how you celebrate little things, how you deal with difficulties and challenges, how both of you contributed to each other's growth, and when you got engaged or married or decided to live together. Pwede nyo din i-include doon when you moved in together and where you live. Or if you decided to live with either of your parents, what was the arrangement? And it's very important to mention that you have your own private space. And also, how you split the chores and expenses. Tapos noon, marami ka pang pwede i-include. Kasi dapat, hindi naman dapat, but my letter was very mahaba. You can also include whether you have kids or Sa amin kasi, sinama namin yung pet namin because like, we're taking care of her together. Whether both of you bought properties or assets together, how you share money and expenses, whether you support each other financially. But sa amin, we declared that each of us has their own savings. So, my savings siya in a separate bank account, my savings din ako sa separate bank account. Tapos, inexplain lang namin na we have a common budget for shared expenses. Kasi, in-emphasize ko na it's also important na each of us may savings. Tapos, also include paulit-ulit household routine and chores, realizations while you are in a relationship, why the applicant wants to go to New Zealand, and what plans do you have for the future, and what are your mutual goals. So, medyo marami ka pang pwedeng i-include dito. Kasi nga, dapat nga detailed yung letter nyo. So, pwede kang mag- mag-include ng specific events, important events, tapos yung mga uh, anong love language nyo sa isa't isa. Basta ganun. Make your letter deta as detailed as possible para ma-feel nung immigration officer na legit yung relationship nyo. By the way, it's not required na kasal kayo in order to qualify for this type of visa. Kahit live-in partner or same-sex relationship, as long as you can prove that you are in a genuine and stable relationship, ayos lang. By the way, inabot ng 7 pages yung timeline namin. And I used Grammarly para ma-check yung grammar at yung tone ng letter ko. Ganito yung format ng timeline na sinabit namin. But it's up to you kung anong discarte nyo. Ang importante ay organized at naiintindihan. Part 2. Evidence of Genuine and Stable Relationship Using Canva, we compiled our photos in a chronological order. I used a very simple layout and then 
in each picture, I just gave a very brief description. By the way, um, with this, kasi medyo malaki yung size, pag sinid niyo yung mga photos, you can use online PDF converters para ma-reduce yung file size. Kasi I think pag nag-attach ka ng file, my maximum size lang na pwedeng i-upload. For the proof of living together, you can submit barangay certificate nyo, ikaw at nung partner mo. Or if you're renting, you can ask your landlord or landlady na gumawa ng letter na nagpapatunay na you live in the same residence or di kaya you can photocopy contract or agreement nyo. Or if the homeowner or either of your parents, you can ask them to make a letter na doon kayo nakatira sa kanila at bakit. Pwede yung sabihin na nagtitipid kasi saving for the future. Um, include in the letter na doon nga kayo nakatira, ano yung living arrangement nyo, that you have your own private space as a couple, at salin nyo na lang din yung arrangement nyo sa chores and expenses. Tapos, another one for the proof of living together, um, pwede nyo isali yung mga online purchases nyo. Mail and online purchases sent on the same address. I'll put an example, but it's up to you. Pero ganito yung sinabit ko, kasi mabilis. We also submitted our TIN ID, yung sa tax identification number, kasi may, nakasamang, may nakasulat na address dun sa baba. Tapos, NBI clearance din, kasi may address din. Anyway, we're gonna use the NBI clearance for character reference something, kasi required din nila yun. So, two birds in one stone. Third part. Evidence of financial interdependence. Before I left in NZ, we opened a bank, a joint bank account. So, okay na yun. If you're planning to move to NZ anytime, it's better na mag-open na kayo as soon as you can. Tapos, kumuha din kami ng bank certificate. I got a bank certificate sa joint account namin. Meron din siyang bank certificate sa own bank account niya, tapos sa own bank account ko din. Um, we also included the receipts of credit card bills, of my credit card bills, na siya ang nagbayad. Diba pag nag-fill up ka ng resibo, pag magbabayad ka sa banko, meron nakasulat dun kung kaninong account yung babayaran mo at account number, tapos sinong nagbayad. So, we attached a scanned copy of that. Tapos, remittances din. For example, kung nagpapadala ko from here, to there. Kasi nagpapadala ko for my doggy doggy maxi. Is this the fourth one? I'm not sure if this is the fourth one, but if it is, evidence of contact. Medyo madali lang sana siya, kaso matrabaho kasi babalikan mo pa yung nakaraan. Ultimate throwback. Sinama namin yung mga letters. For example, if hindi naman kayo hilig sa letters, kung may gifts na lang or pag nagpapadala ng flowers, Save nyo yung cards, tapos iscan nyo, tapos i-compile nyo lang. Screenshot of emails and calls, so dun lang sa mga call history. Hindi naman namin binalik nung from the beginning of the relationship, kasi parang mahirap naman. <laughs> parang wala na, parang nakapagpalit ako ng cellphone nun. Feeling ko yung important lang naman is there's a constant communication. Sini-screenshot lang namin, nag-backdate na kami ng mga ilang months. Uh, anyway, yung sa evidence of contact, in-explain ko naman din dun sa relationship timeline namin kung gaano kami ka-frequent nag-uusap nung nandun pa kami sa Pilipinas at nung nandito pa ako. Aside from doon, yung messages sa messenger and then yung mga video chat. Ini-screenshot ko lang yung anong mga usual photos na sinishare namin tapos yung duration and frequency ng mga video chats namin. Fifth one is letter from family and friends. In their letters, um, these people should mention the impact you both made to each other, how they come to know of your relationship, and their point of view sa relationship nyo. These are some of the information that your referee needs to cover in a relationship support letter. Hindi naman need, but it's up to you. State the writer's relationship to you or your partner and explain how you know each other. Like, ikaw at ng friend mo, how you came to know each other. They should confirm that you are in a genuine and stable relationship. This is the key to success. Genuine and stable relationship. Number third one, if relevant, confirm that you are living together and for how long. Another one is how they were first made aware of the relationship, like specific description of events or dates. They can also give details about what they know about your relationship. For instance, trips or events that you attended together. So, major relevant din siya sa previous one. And finally, your referee. 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 Basta kung gets nyo, okay na. 
they should include their contact details in case gusto silang interviewin ng immigration officer and ask them questions. You can secure a letter from both of your parents and at least one from each of your friends. And part six, this is the last one. Documents from supporting partners. Sa amin, that would be B. Sinama ko lang yung um, a copy of my visa, job offer, pay slips, yung credit card statements ko, tapos yung um, bank statement ko dito sa New Zealand, NBI, and Saudi clearance kasi I worked in Saudi before for character reference. And lastly, I would suggest you create a cover page to make everything organized. Para di sila mahirapan maghanap. Those are my tips in composing your letters and compiling your proofs. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if I can't answer them, maybe the people who know the answer will. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye!